We're now ready to sculpt the form into the shape of the RC body using the Edit Form tool. At this point in the project, it's important to remember that the internal components of your model may be slightly moved or repositioned based on earlier steps in this project. And my opinion of what a good car design is may differ greatly from what yours does. It's more important to understand the process to edit this form than necessarily to follow my exact steps. What we're going to do is right click and select edit form from the right click menu. Now, in the edit form dialog box, there's many different options, but there's only a few that we're really concerned with at this point. While you can change the transform mode and coordinate space, it's most important that we focus on the selection filters. The selection filters tell Fusion what specifically you want to edit. You have the options for vertex, edge, face, all, and body. By selecting vertex mode, you're telling Fusion that you want to make very fine edits to specific points within the model. If I rotate so we can get a better view of the model, you can see that selecting a vertex point will allow you to modify just that specific point. Because of the symmetry line, the other side updates as well, but the changes to the model are focused around this specific point. If we cancel that and return to the Edit Form dialog box, the next option is Edge. All Edge does is expands the influence of the modification. When we did just the point, just a little bit of the area got pulled up. But when we use the Edge mode, you get a much larger effect on the model itself. The process to do this is exactly the same whether you're in Vertex, Edge, or Face mode. But how much each of those areas are influenced is greatly affected by the specific selection mode you're using. If we return and use the face option, you can see that modifying the face changes a larger area of the model. Now that you've seen that, let's return to the edit form mode, look at the model from the right hand view and set the selection filter to vertex. Here, we can start following the internal components to shape this vehicle. If we use a window mode by left clicking and dragging across these vertex points, you'll notice that they're highlighted in a light blue color. That indicates they're selected, and you can use the manipulator to modify the shape just like you did when you were moving parts. If I left click and drag on the arrow, you'll notice that the hood becomes a little more sloped and a little more aerodynamic. You can use the up and down arrow to position the vertex points closer to the wheel if needed. You can continue this process selecting points around the model to adjust the overall shape of the car itself. Remember, it's always a good practice to rotate your model after making changes so that you can better understand how the changes are affecting the overall shape. This looks pretty good so far, so I'm going to return to my right side view and make a couple additional modifications. I'm going to select the vertex point here on the top and drag that straight up to begin creating our roof. As I rotate that around, oh, you can see that I didn't get the exact point I wanted. In this case, you can always use the cancel command to undo the current move, or if needed, when you're out of the command, you do have an undo and a redo option on each side of the right side menu. They work really well when you're making modifications and you make a slight mistake or want to try different design intents. I'm going to edit my form and this time I'm going to, from a 3D view, select that center point. This will give me a little more control of only affecting the center of that model, unlike the previous option where I selected this outer point. Again, as you rotate the model, you can kind of see the shape becoming more like a car. If you don't want your car to have the windshield run too far down, you can always look at it from the right side and begin sculpting individual points to have better control over how you want your car to be shaped. This process could take as few as a few minutes 
or as long as you need to create the design you want. There is no right or wrong amount of time as long as your design is progressing as you need it to. While making these modifications, you can always, again, switch to edge selection, for example. You can select an individual edge, or you can hold shift down to select multiple edges. In this case, I'm going to slide these in just a little bit to change the overall shape of the roof. I'm starting to get the body to look a little more like what I think would work well for me. I'm going to go ahead and select the front edge and drag that out just a little bit to give us a little more shape on the hood. And you can start to see that the shape is becoming more like the vehicle we want. At a point where you're happy with the design, you can select OK to complete the form. And if ever needed, you can always continue editing, even if you finish this form and tell the system that you're completely done with making modifications. You'll notice that the form updates to return to the model space, but we still have this purple orb down at the bottom or this purple sphere. If you double click on that at any point, you can return to the edit form mode or the sculpt environment to continue editing your form. 